Shivarur had spoken to Nirmala Sitharaman of the BJP. Her reactions uh, on this manifesto uh, coming up right now. Moments after the Congress Party released its manifesto for 2014, we have with us national spokesperson for the Bharatiya Janata Party, Nirmala Sitaraman. Ms. Sitaraman, a directed and pointed attack was made by the Prime Minister, where he talked about how the BJP has constantly attacked him and that he hasn't run away. What did you think about that? I wish he didn't run away all right, but then I wish he had spoken and answered the questions that we raised. Very well for him to say that he has not run away. But did he answer? Uh, the measure that he used... Uh, in saying that the 2G corruption scandal has been addressed by the minister concerned being subjected to questioning and of course later on through the court uh, is under trial. Has he applied the same rule for himself as regards coal ministry? He hasn't. To stay there is one thing and to answer is quite another. There was also a direct uh, response by Rahul Gandhi when he talked about how Narendra Modi was divisive. This was looked at as a direct statement about your prime ministerial nominee. Considering that in Gujarat, where Mr. Modi has been contesting all his election, it is only now that he has come on to a different state also uh, for the parliament. Considering that in Gujarat, for the last 20 to 25 years, the Congress party is unable to take on Mr. Modi politically. And you see that one after the other, the Gujarat State Congress unit is disbanding. The Youth Congress and the NSUI have left their home turf and moved over to the BJP. And there, the people have been continuously rejecting the Congress. The last time, let me remind you, the assembly elections, they did not even have the photos of Mrs. Sonia Gandhi or Rahul Gandhi in the posters. They had to bring in a brand ambassador from somewhere else, a lady called Tulika, if I'm right. So, in a state where they failed to take on Mr. Modi, now at the national level, in the, for the Lok Sabha elections, they are unable to take on him. So, it's all very well for the Congress to keep, uh, you know, throwing here and there a barb at him. But the fact remains, these are words of desperation. How is the BJP reading the manifesto itself? There was lots of, lots of speculation so far about what's going to be in the manifesto. Uh, uh, you've also said that uh, you know, there, there's a degree of opportunism in some of the announcements that have been made in this manifesto. Yes, absolutely. If a party which has remained in power for 10 last years um, and is bringing in a novel thought here and novel thought there in their new manifesto, uh, it begs the question as to what were they doing in the 10 years. If indeed these were golden ideas, out of the box ideas, which is going to have a great social impact, nothing stopped them from implementing. After all, the numbers were there in their hands and that was one of the reasons why, in spite of all the grave errors, the opposition could only speak and, you know, bring in motions in the parliament, but eventually they were with the numbers. Why couldn't they do these great things which they are mentioning in their manifesto today? During the 10 years rule, they only spent time on corruption and which went unnoticed for a very long time and the courts came down heavily. So it's all very well for them to give fantastic promises, clearly knowing that they are not coming back to power. Final question, ma'am. Our national affairs editor put a direct question to Rahul Gandhi about uh, uh, the choice of uh, giving a ticket to Ashok Chavan. It's interesting, A, that Sonia Gandhi chose to actually answer that question. Were you in any way convinced about the answer? Because that's the answer that's been officially put out by the Congress. Leave being convinced, it clearly shows the hypocrisy of the Congress. When they would want to attack the opposition, the rules are one thing. But when it is applied to them, it is an elastic rule which applies onto themselves. So it's, it's a very clear hypocritical and also very clearly a, a decision which is uh, driven by desperation. Thank you very much for speaking the headlines today. That was Nirmala Sitharaman who says hypocrisy and opportunism will be the planks on which the BJP will attack the Congress on Manifesto 2014. With camera person Ashok Bhanot in Delhi, Shivarur for headlines today.